you like waiting? Neither do I. Whether the object of our wait is something that is known to us, like a destination vacation, or whether the object of our wait is something unknown to us, like the salvation of a loved one, waiting is hard. And waiting well, it seems almost impossible. I have never been a good waiter. Ask anyone who knows me. And God, well, He made me go to some really hard places with some really long waits over the last decade. From an undiagnosed illness that my husband endured to the waiting of the publication of this book, which is a dream that He placed in my heart well over 10 years ago. What I've learned from God about waiting is that He wants us to view waiting as a classroom rather than a place of confinement. And He wants to teach us that waiting is not wasting time, it's training time. Sometimes our wait can be so long that feelings creep in like anxiety and bitterness, causing us to feel like we're stuck without God rather than secure with God. We feel neglected rather than treasured and dismissed instead of loved. When this happens, we tend to manipulate our circumstances to our own desired outcome, rather than waiting in our paws with God to accomplish His perfect ending to our wait. God's plan for us is too good to rush. In Ephesians, Paul tells us that we are God's handiwork. We are His masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do a good work. And you know, that good work began long in advance before you and I were ever born. So our waiting time is God preparing us for what He has already prepared for us. I think we can all agree that pauses in life are difficult. I don't know what season you're in. Maybe you're sitting by the window or by the phone waiting for your prodigal to return home. Maybe you're headed out for another treatment and an illness that's gone on really long. Maybe you're looking at a wedding invitation wondering when will someone be looking at my wedding invitation. Pauses are difficult and that's why I wrote Wait and See. We're going to take a look at the life of King David and we're going to trace his life from the pasture to the palace and we are going to learn how to wait well as we focus on the person of our faith rather than the object of our wait. King David's life is going to teach us to experience God rather than just enduring his delays. And most importantly, we will learn to stay present in the present while looking forward to the future as God brings a perfect ending to our wait.